Smoka. So here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself thinking this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the count. But Ice gets caught with that punch. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relativities. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. What a big time takedown. And they both stand up. Oh! Oh, nice. Nice. Smoka gets in the clinch. Nice leg kick land. Smoka gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Oh! And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Another beautiful takedown lane. Oh! Oh, he might have got him with a choke. Wow. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. 90 seconds remain in the round. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. A nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. And they separate. Nice loop and punch. Down attempt. It is not there. And not a combine. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Beautiful technique. Landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece. There's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting the combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive through <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Boom. Closes the distance, gets the single collar side. Wow. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Unbelievable. That is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up with I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good. Shot there, DC, and that is it! Oh! oh, my goodness, what a fight. Well, it's not every day in the UFC that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely...
absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter, and then it became just a matter of time. So somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner, as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at two minutes, 26 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, Marlon Magic Marat! Well, the celebration is on over there in the corner, and nothing Sir Rothwell. You ready? other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. It's a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Just misses with the right. For a minute, he had a window there. It closed quickly. And he comes knee, through with a big knee. And he hurt him. He hurt. Real quick leg kiss. Both of these gentlemen are putting it on the line. Ooh. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Well, that's a big weapon for him, but the overhand right not there that time. Just over two minutes to go. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. An uppercut in it! All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. What a punch. Oh, hook shot blocked there by Lewis. And the takedown attempt, but he does not land it. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Just a slip there. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. And they separate. Oh, huge overhand there. Go to the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low, and then come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great. Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go oh! Him. Derek Lewis! Yet another finish! Unbelievable! <laughs> yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year.
All right, we set it inside for the official decision. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at 13 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Derek the Black Beast Lewis. Well, we congratulate him on it. guys in their UFC careers last year. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this key matchup. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Manoa gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Picks it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Oh, spinning back to He can telegraph that one at all. Clean execution on that leg kick. Fast-paced opening round here. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the poster boy, Jimmy Mandage. And here he takes it. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Good. Oh, I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing three birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. It's a beautiful fast foot jab with meaning. That one landed clean. Oh, brutal knee to the body. Ninety seconds now to go in the round. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue, and they separate. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, massive kick to the body. Under a minute to go in what has been a wild round one. They go 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous. You ready? You ready? All right, round two. Ooh, big shot land. Look at the force behind that leg kick. And just misses with that big right hand. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, big knee. Oh! Oh, straight right. Nice kick. Nice jab, follows up with a nice right hand. Big leg kick land. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. 
And potentially a critical takedown here. Looks like he's trying for submission now. Like he may try to hit the escape. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch. He's gonna start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Oh, he might have got him with the choke. So he submits courtesy of the rear naked choke. That guy's got a squeeze on him. He does a great job securing the position, getting under the neck, and then hiding his hands in order to get the finish. Fantastic performance by this fighter. He got him! What a performance! So yeah, it came down to tap out or go to sleep, and his opponent chose the former. The choke was clearly sunk in deep. Perfect technique. And ultimately, that is one of the bigger wins of his career. He gets it done by submission here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Eve Levine has called a stop for this contest. At three minutes, 31 seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by tap out, Assassin! All right, so there he is, all smiles and... without issue. Yeah, Back to the feet now. Right hook to the head block. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Trying to go to the body now with the kick, that one misses. Oh, collar tie. Oh, massive head kick there, we'll see if he can finish. with that right hand. Whoa! Oh, he's right. Whoa! Oh! Quick entry to get Man, him on a single. That was a great single. Oh. Nice big takedown. What a technique. What a takedown. Great high impact skill. You could feel the canvas. I mean, it's right now. Boom, 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 boom. It's like me running anywhere, John. Right, right. <laughs> Beautiful fight. Back and forth we go here. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got it. Yet another take. Now goes 
Jones in and secures the takedown. Oh, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC. He's gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack the arm triangle. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, 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 what a sweep. Oh, he's on top of him looking for a finish. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar, just get the ground and pound. He can't attack submission, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for, because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling. Great action to get to that takedown. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Punch over the top. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big head kick lands. Single collar tie now. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, and he caught the oh. kick. Oh, there it is. Oh. Double City catches the kick and promptly counters with that take. Great time, great recognition of seeing the kick coming and turning it into your offense. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. And now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round oh! two. He's out! He's done, he's done! What a fight! Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent solely saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at two minutes, 45 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Assassin! By the Immortal Brown. Ready. So here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the count. Hill's hook shot blocked. That one was telegraphed. Good job by the defense. Big punch lands through the middle. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Rock'em, shock him out of the shoot here. Very nice leg kick there by Brown. Unable to connect there. Single collar tie. And they separate. Just over three minutes now to go. Brown gets stung by that leg kick. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Darren Till. Good run. Oh man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body.
right hand punch from the three. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You got some. A big, massive push that really has put his opponent on skates. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over. Rounds lower, John now starting to show signs of swelling. Just missed with the left there. Less than a minute to go in the round. Big punch land. Ooh. He comes forward with a... TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. All right, DC, no telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at four minutes, 49 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Dan so there he is. Other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Oh! Buddy. to throw, but this is like double-A striking. This is not high level. Yeah, you can't be missing. It takes so much energy to just throw a strike, but to be whiffing like this, it only exhausts you because every moment he's trying to throw to knock his opponent out, when you're just catching air. It, it doesn't feel good. It's also embarrassing. <laughs> 
Looking to set up that head kick again. This one does not find the home. Oh, big, big knee. knee there. Oh, looked like he was trying to set up the head kick, but he misses on that attempt. Final seconds of round one. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. Five minutes in the books. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 53 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Stephen Thunderboy Tucker. All right, so there he is, the man. Flying knee to no avail. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's hurt back. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Just misses with a left hook there. All right, so another swing and a miss. And I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you got to find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually roll out some damage. Yeah, you got to get out. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish this fight. Liver kick. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Oh, big knee! Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, nice high kick. Oh, a big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. And that's gonna do it. That is it. Tower. Oh my goodness! Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So 
near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC, and he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, it was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands, but ultimately it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, two seconds of the very first round. Playing the winner by knockout, Zombie Mago Mitchell! Oh, well, there he is at. are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Good punch, Lance. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Went for the inside leg kick. Edison's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Just misses there with the left. Nice one, two there. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he fakes it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want him to hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Over and over, he landed his big body kick. Big knee to the body, that'll soften him up. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left hook there. Try to establish that jab. Head. 
just misses with the right hook. Dennis gets caught with that punch. Nice one, two there. Oh, a huge block there. Right hand upstairs. Well, Pettis' lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of... Straight punch lands. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on him. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that land perfect. And that one landed perfect. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Over and over. You come up, you go down. Another take down the lead. Oh, nice. So he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty for this right position. Right oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. Wow! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Huge right hand! Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Ooh, what a punch. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything. Pettis' head on that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. That was a perfect shot. sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. decision is in. That's where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines will stop this contest at 4 minutes 59 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bobby King Reeves. So the South Other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. We think we're getting the kickboxing match tonight. Well, you just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. It's a cool fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on. These guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Beautiful hook. you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now. And his defense is because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to the position, got another beautiful kick. Get him with his hip into that kick. More work now to that lead leg. Solid leg kick is good. Nice defense there. Huge block. Oh, great and now he's got that one of those shots. Take one of them. And the knife down the spot. Now he's on top of him looking for a bit. It's over. It's over. It's over. <laughs> Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, 
You gotta protect the fighter, and I thought he did a good job of doing just that. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. All right, let's get to the official decision. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, five seconds in the very first round. We play the winner by knockout and still. in this key match. Lands a big right hand early. Oh! That's a big strike right there. When he gets to the clinch, usually a takedown follows. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Nice job to block the elbow attack there. Nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Just out of range with that right hook. Nice punch, man. Now he counters with a right hook to the shot. Lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Punch is blocked. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And there comes the separation now. Just misses with that one. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, he engages in the single power tie. That one's stuck in. Nice strike. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, that's a big hook there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Big kick lands. Oh, nice hook. That was a crippling shot right there. So there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out. Relax. You're okay. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Second round underway. to the 
the well with that right hand. It's no good. Nice. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at one minute, seven seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still.